The girl lay in a cold iron cage, her face purple, her eyes full of fear. With all her strength, she finally opened the cage. She was barefoot and thinly dressed. I don't know who imprisoned her in this cold room. It turned out that this was the infamous Unit 731 laboratory. The girl had suffered all kinds of torture and had lost her memory. She didn't know what her name was and why she was here. Even so, the heartless scientist refused to stop and tried to help her regain her memory using various agents. In deep sleep, the girl saw the pregnant woman again. The pregnant woman tried to take her to escape from the horrible laboratory. But as she walked, the pregnant woman suddenly disappeared. Immediately afterward, a grandpa appeared in front of her. died before he could get a word in edgeways. They were all victims who were imprisoned here. These images stayed deep in the girl's mind and could not be erased. After several trials, she finally regained her memory. The pregnant woman who often appeared was her mother. The girl's name was Fee, and she originally had a happy family. But one day, the Japanese suddenly broke into the home and captured them. In addition to the brutal war, this group of heartless scientists were conducting all kinds of human experiments. Neither the girl nor her mother escaped the clutches. Against international conventions, the Japanese army used living human beings to carry out such genocidal experiments as frostbite, gas experiments and bacterial infections. The means were extremely cruel and heinous. The vicious Unit 730, one conducted medical experiments on at least 3,000 people to develop biological warfare weapons. None of the victims survived. If their souls are alive in heaven, they will certainly not spare those heartless scientists. <laughs> ah!